आप सुन रहे हैं समाचार एजेंसी ऑफ इंडिया की साई न्यूज में ऑडियो बुलेटिन दिस इज दर एजेंसी ऑफ इंडिया नाउ लिसन टू द नेशनल ऑडियो बुलेटिन ऑफ वेंसडे जनवरी थर्ड ट्वेंटी इन द न्यूज सीरीज ऑफ साई न्यूज Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said that the government is fully committed to ensure the sustainable development of Lakshadweep. Mr Modi was addressing a function to mark the launching and laying the foundation stone of development projects worth 1156 crore rupees at Kaveradi Island in Lakshadweep this morning. He said all efforts are being made by the government to bring Lakshadweep on the international tourism map. He said hosting one of the meetings of the G20 in Lakshadweep has further helped the island group to establish its identity as a tourism destination. The Prime Minister said India today is focusing on ways to increase its share in the global seafood market and Lakshadweep will hugely benefit from such efforts. He said the possibilities of seaweed cultivation are also being explored in Lakshadweep islands. The Prime Minister dedicated to the nation a submarine optical fiber cable project connecting Kochi and Lakshadweep Islands, a low temperature thermal desalination plant at Katamat, a drinking water distribution project and a battery backed solar power project on the occasion. The Prime Minister also distributed Kisan credit cards, Ayushman Bharat cards, laptops and bicycles on the occasion. Lakshadweep administrator Praful Patel, MP Muhammad Faisal were among those who were present. Mr Modi will reach Thrissur this afternoon where he will take part in a women's meet organized by the BJP a women power with Modi at the Kinkada Maidan. He will also hold a road show in Thrissur town ahead of the meet. Supreme Court has refused to order a special investigation team SIT probe into the Adani Hindaber controversy. Rejecting the plea to transfer the probe from Securities and Exchange Board of India (SEBI) to SIT, a bench comprising Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachud and Justices J.B. Pardawala and Manoj Mishra said, "The market regulator has not been lackadaisical in the investigation." In a major relief to Adani Group, Supreme Court said it can't enter into the domain of the regulatory regime, and the report of Hindenburg or anything like that cannot become the basis of ordering a separate probe. Saying that the SEBI will continue its probe as per the law, the apex court directed the market regulator to complete its probe into the remaining matter within three months. This is the Samakar Agency of India. You are listening to the National Audio Bulletin of Wednesday, January 3, 2024, in the news series of Sai News. Union Health Ministry has issued guidelines for hospitals on ICU admissions, directing them that they cannot admit critically ill patients in the intensive care unit in case of a refusal by them and their relatives. The guidelines for ICU admission and discharge criteria further clarify that the requirements for admitting a patient to ICU should be based on organ failure and the need for organ support or in anticipation of deterioration in the medical condition. It said blood pressure, pulse rate, respiratory rate, breathing pattern, heart rate, oxygen saturation, urine output and neurological status among other parameters should be monitored in a patient awaiting an ICU bed. A total of 602 new COVID cases have been reported in the last 24 hours in the country. According to the Health Ministry, 4440 cases are currently active in the country. 5 deaths have been reported and 722 COVID patients have been discharged in the last 24 hours. In Assam, at least 13 persons were killed and 30 injured in a road accident in Golaghat district this morning. The injured persons are undergoing treatment at Jorhat Medical College and Hospital. Police said ill-fated bus carrying around 45 passengers collided head-on with a truck coming from opposite direction at Bali Jan under Dergao police station area. While 10 passengers died on the spot, 3 succumbed to their injuries in hospital. Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma expressed grief and instructed administration to extend all possible helps to the injured. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today expressed pain at the loss of lives due to a road mishap in Golaghat, Assam. Mr Modi conveyed his condolences to the bereaved families. The government has announced that an exgratia of 2 lakh rupees would be given to the next of kin of each deceased from the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund. The government will also give 50,000 rupees to the injured. This is the Samakar Agency of India. You are listening to the National Audio Bulletin of Wednesday, January 3, 2024 in the news series of Sai News. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal on Wednesday accused the Enforcement Directorate (ED) of being a opaque and arbitrary and asked the probe agency if it was issuing summons to tarnish his reputation. Kejriwal wrote a letter to the ED after he skipped the third ED summons in a case of alleged money laundering related to Delhi excise case for which several AAM Aadmi Party (AAP) leaders are being investigated. 
Every time before the summons reaches me, it is already there in the media. This raises questions whether the purpose of the summons is to do any legitimate inquiry or tarnish my reputation, he wrote. The two aspects of the Hindenburg research allegations against the Adani Group which Market Regulator Securities and Exchange Board of India is still probing are I. Ownership of 12 foreign portfolio investors who hold stake in the companies of the group and 2. Short sellers selling without owning in Adani shares during January 18th to 31st last year, around the time of the release of the Hindenburg report. SEBI had last August told the Supreme Court it is gathering details pertaining to economic interest shareholders of 12 foreign portfolio investors FBIs, which are public shareholders of the Adani Group companies. This investigation is being conducted by the regulator to find if there has been a violation of Section 19A of the Securities Contract Regulation Act, which stipulates minimum 25% public shareholding in listed companies. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kedrival will not appear before the Enforcement Directorate today in connection with the Delhi excise policy scam. The AAM Admi Party has termed the summons issued by the ED as illegal. This was the third summons to Mr. Kedrival in this case. Talking to media, the AAP leader and Delhi Minister Adishar alleged that this summon has been issued keeping the Lok Sava elections in mind. Meanwhile, the BJP has come down heavily on Mr. Kedrival saying the Delhi Chief Minister thinks he is above the law. Briefing media in New Delhi, party spokesperson Gaurav Bhatia alleged that Mr. Kedrival, who once used to talk about eradicating corruption from India, has now become a corrupt person. He also alleged that Mr. Kedrival is nervous over the ED summons. The Vixit Bar at Sankalp Yatra was organized in coordination with departments including agriculture, health and postal services. Officials of the public sector organizations, lead bank officials are also part of the Yatra. The Yatra has been held in rural and urban locations to enable more participation of youth and public. The distribution of calendars, the explanation given by officials on the various schemes of the government and the speeches of Prime Minister Narendra Modi have been attracting onlookers and crowds in prime locations. External Affairs Minister Drive S. Jaishankar will be on a two-day visit to Nepal beginning tomorrow. The visit will be at the invitation of Foreign Minister of Nepal, N.P. Saad for co-chairing the seventh meeting of the India-Nepal Joint Commission in Kathmandu. Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed his thoughts about noted Dasiya Mrapaka Dravida Kazagam leader and Tamil actor Captain Vijayakanth, who passed away last month. Mr. Modi said that he was truly a captain for everyone, a person who lived his life for the betterment of others. The revered leader provided leadership and a healing touch to people in need. The Prime Minister said this in a blog post published in the Narendra Modi application. Prime Minister Modi said that from humble beginnings to the highs of Tamil cinema, the story of Vijayakanth is not just a story of stardom but a chronicle of relentless effort and unwavering dedication. Mr. Modi appreciated Vijayakanth's effort to portray the struggles of common citizens and stand up against injustice on the silver screen. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has shared devotional bhajan sung by Swati Mishra welcoming Sri Ram Lala. In a social media post, Mr. Modi said that this bhajan is mesmerizing. In cricket, South Africa were 11 for the loss of three wickets against India in the second test at Newland Stadium in Cape Town, a short while ago. Earlier, South Africa won the toss and opted to bat. South Africa are leading the series 1-0 after winning the first test. This match is vital in the race to reach the final of the 2023-25 World Test Championship. Both teams are hot favorites to make the Summit Clash, which will take place in June 2025 at Lourdes, and the result of this game will make a big difference to the points table. You are listening to the news series of Sci News of the Samakar Agency of India in the National Audio Bulletin of Wednesday, January 3, 2024. On Thrust Day, January 4, 2024, we will once again appear with an audio bulletin. Also, do not forget to watch Limti Co Lantern on burning topics in Sci News at 7 a.m. daily. If you like these audio bulletins, then you must like, share and subscribe to them. Now we take your permission, Jai Hind.